This learning objective explains satellite images and a Landsat uh, remote sensing uh, platform. So satellite images are images taken from space-borne sensors. Um, and it, this kind of started in the 50s um, when earlier uh, satellites were launched. It, originally, they were mostly weather satellites or military uh, uh, reconnaissance satellites. Um, but later on in the 60s and 70s, the commercial satellites started appearing as well, which started providing data for commercial use. Um, the advantage of satellites is that it provides large area coverage. Um, and so because they are very far away from the ground, the relief distortion or relief displacement is very minimal as compared to the airborne uh, images. And satellites are in space, so there's no wind, and so there's better attitude control as well. So there's no ro uh, roll, yaw, and pitch distortions as we discussed in case of the aerial um, Im uh, images. And this is um, because of the large coverage, satellite data is more popular for global and regional applications as well as national level studies for large countries. Um, and it's also used for extraterrestrial exploration. Um, the um, typical sen sensors used for uh, space-borne um, remote sensing are scanners. And there are two types of scanners. One is called a cross-track scanner, and the other one is called the long-track scanner. And this basically tells the direction of scanning. So cross-track scanner is also called the whisk broom scanner. So it's basically uh, scanning the surface like a broom um, from side to side. Whereas the long track scanner is a, also a push broom scanner, which means it's just pushing uh, along the surface. The, um, the, the, the extent of the, the scan in both cases is called the angular field of view and on the ground it's called the swath and at any moment the instantaneous field of view of uh, uh, of the sen of the scanner is what gets translated to a single pixel in an image so in case of the uh, cross track scanner there is only a, a single detector which is detecting the pixel or the ground information within the instantaneous field of view as it moves uh, across the track. Whereas ca in case of a long track scanner, there's an array of detector detectors and they're simultaneously covering um, the whole um, width of the swath. And so this um, satellite, as it moves along the along the the satellite track there is lesser uh, time spent because there is no scanning involved it's basically just all the uh, scans along the the, the the track are being done simultaneously and um, there are many space agencies in the world that have many satellites in the space the 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 sizes of these satellites are a little bit exaggerated to show all the the space how how many satellites we have out there in the space right now and these include remote sensing satellites communication satellites um, the weather satellites and um, and military surveillance satellites um, all of these are there and all countries it's a space race and all countries are um, that that are capable of sending satellites um, are sending satellites to advance their own programs and these includes uh, NASA which is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration in the US well um, then Japan has its uh, agency called JAXA European Union has ESA, China has CNSA, Indian Space Research Organization is ISRO, 
the Russian uh, Federal Space Agency um, is defunct now. It doesn't exist anymore, but it, it was once a popular space agency. Canadian Space Agency, CSA, then French has CNES, um, and there are many more. Um, if you uh, Google space agencies list, you will see that many countries have their own, uh, no matter how small, space programs. Um, what I want to talk about in our satellite systems is Landsat. Um, this is one of the systems that we use most popular. It's free. It, it was um, a NASA and USGS joint effort and because of USGS um, and this data is freely available to the whole world um, and um, it's this, this started in the 70s in 1972 the first Landsat was launched um, and then there's the uh, first first three Landsats kind of lasted until the 80s but then um, Landsat 4 lasted a little bit longer. Landsat 5 was the longest mission that provides almost 30 years of data. And this is kind of the, a, a cr the crown of NASA. Um, it, it, it is very popular data set for long-term studies. Um, it, and it's rich. Um, Landsat 6 didn't really last even a day. It failed. Upon launch, uh, Landsat 7 was launched in uh, late 90s, and it is still operational. Landsat 8 was recently launched in in the in in this decade, and is still operational. And Landsat 9 is planned to be launched in 2020. The popular sensors on Landsat are the multispectral scanner or MSS. It's in the older Landsats. Then Four and five had thematic mapper and uh, enhanced thematic mapper appeared as well later on. ETM plus appeared. And on the Landsat 8, we have the operational land imager or OLI. The, uh, the bands for the thematic mapper are also called TM. Um, there are seven bands. The one, two, three are blue, green, and red. Um, then four is the near infrared, five is the short uh, wavelength infrared, six is the thermal infrared, and seven is the medium uh, wavelength infrared. If you look at the resolutions, the all of the of all of them actually are available in thirty meter resolution. Um, the thermal infrared is collected at one twenty meter resolution, but then resampled. Um, for distribution at 30 meters resolution. So this is called a moderate resolution data set and it's very popular. It's a reasonable resolution for urban studies as well as um, uh, studies over large regions. Um, the Landsat OLI bands which are available on Landsat 8, uh, there are 11 bands and these um, cover two blue bands, a green, a red, infrared, then two short wavelength infrared bands, a panchromatic band which kind of covers all the way from uh, green um, to kind of a little bit past red, green and red together. Uh, then the Cyrus band is um, also in the infrared region. This is for cloud monitoring. Then we have two thermal infrared bands um, uh, available as well. 